Hey folks, it's Brian. Um, hadn't done one of these in a while. Um, you know, so I thought I'd do a commentary about the the recent Rock and Hall of Fame inductions and who I want to see. Not only that, but to see who I want to talk about, who I want to get in the snubs, as I like to say. Um, first off, congratulations to Bon Jovi, the Cars, the Moody Blues. Uh, dire Straits and Nina Simone, and of course, and Sister Rosetta the four who got in as an early influence. Um, each of these people have, you know, been big stars, and I uh, have been very influential in rock and roll history. So, you know, hats off to to the victors. Um. Anyway, my now the. The, two, the 2018 ceremony is up. Over. Well, let's talk about what I hope for happens in 2019. Um, there's still a lot of snubs out there. People who haven't, who I feel have gotten the short end of the stick over the years. And um, let me just put down the guys who I want. Who I put. Who I feel should be getting in. They have not. And this is, I said this last year. First off, um, I'm just by kind of a category. So let me start with the 60s guys. You know, the guys who, who were big in the 60s, um, but never, but you know, for some reason the hall wants to ignore them. The 60s and early 70s guys. Um, first off, Leslie Gore. You know, I always like to call her the bridge between the girl group, the girl group pop of the early '60s and the and the more independent women who came along, like Grace Slick and and Janis Joplin in the late '60s. You know, she was one of the most popular singers of that era. Of you know, in that era, and in the, in, I think she kind of got overshadowed when once the Beatles arrived, but still. She should be in the Rock and Hall of Fame. Connie, Connie Francis. You know, she was probably the biggest female uh, performer of the <coughs> late 50s, early 60s. Um, she was <coughs> almost the, excuse me, almost the uh, female equivalent of the, the male teen idols. You know, like Frankie, Frankie Avalon and Bobby Rydell, but she sold more, I think she's, to me, she sold more records than she should be in. But she gets lumped in with this, you know, the girl group pop, uh, girl, with the girl pops, you know, see how much a doggy was in the wind or whatever, but she was a lot more than that. Um, as, and then, of course, my next, another guy, act I just see in the hall, are the guess who. You know, the band that broke, they helped break, break the doors open for Canadian artists. You know, um, you know, let's face it, after the guests who arrived, you know, you had, you know, a flood of Canadian artists come in. And, you know, it went from the guests who, culminating, culminating, excuse me, culminating with the arrival of Rush. Four years after the big hit of America, after they, after the guess who had American Woman. Four years later, Rush comes in and and becomes the biggest Canadian band of all time. Um. Now let's go into Prague. Um. This is a category that you know is almost like metal in the Hall of Fame, and the one and then they've already got. What I call two members of the Big Four in there. Yes, in Genesis. And I think it finally should induct the other two members of the Big Four. Amherst Lincoln Palmer, King Crimson. You know, you thought they would have inducted ELP last year with the unfortunate passings of of Keith Emerson and Great Lake. But unfortunately, they still have not let them put them in. King Crimson, I feel they should they should have been in. They should be in as well. You know, 
in fact, um, if things happen in a very strange way, you may have uh, a couple guys get inducted in on the same night if Warner gets inducted. And that's a band, another band I like to see in. Even though they're not prog, one of their members was a member of King Crimson. That was Ian McDonald. And Ian McDonald, you know, played a huge role in in both the first King Crimson album and the first three Foreigner albums. And, um... Another act I like to see get in, besides Foreigner... You know, more metal. Let's put more metal in there. You know, I think last this year, Judas Priest was on the short, was on the the nomination list, but they didn't make it. I think it's time they did get in, especially now that with the the news of what happened to Glenn Tipton with Parkinson's. He, he will no longer perform live with the band. He may, you know, do some stuff in the studio, but as of now, he, but unfortunately, he has been forced to retire from the road. Um, Iron Maiden should be in. You know, one of the most influential heavy metal bands of all time. Um, as far as other acts from the 80s and 70s that should be in, you know, if Bon Jovi is in, you have to put in Def Leppard. Yes, Def Leppard. They were the band that, you know, in a lot of ways kind of set the stage for Bon Jovi. They were the, they were the hard rock band with the pop hooks, with great vocals, and of course they released some of the best-selling albums of all time, and for some reason, The Hall snubs them. Um, maybe now, of course, with... As some people mentioned, with Jan Wenner's kind of waning influence in the hall, um, we'll see more of the Sunnies bands get in, more of the um, the eighties hard rock band gets in, get in, metal bands. Um, we another band, another artist like to see get in, Pat Benatar. You know, the probably the most influential singer of the Sunnies. She should have been in Sunnies. Late 70s, early 80s. In fact, she should have been in long before Madonna. She's got more credit than Madonna ever had. So, but I think that everybody likes to look at her with with uh, Pat is the fact that you know she'll always be associated with her husband Neil Giraldo. But you know, Pat Benner probably would have made it in even if she didn't meet Neil Giraldo. But the, still, the two. He helped make he helped her career immensely. Um, and of course, the big monkey in the room, as far as as far as um, rock and roll, as far as prog, you know, metal, whatever you want to call him, Jethro Tull. You know, at one time they were called the 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 most popular band in the world. Well, now it's time for them to be in the Rock and Hall of Fame. Anyway, that's my opinion. Who should be in the Rock Roll Hall of Fame? Um, I like to hear you, like you know, in, in the comments below. Me, me, let me hear your. Let me read yours. Um. Anyway, thanks and have a good day, folks.